Good morning, queens. Good morning, good morning. Oh, I got a little raccoon eyes going on from the beach. But anyways, anyways, that's not the point of today's video. So you guys remember that I had started a garden probably, huh, probably like a little over, about almost two months ago. And, um... It was going good and everything like that. You guys saw the initial video when I started everything from the seeds and yada, yada, yada. But I never came back with a proper video. And that is because we had a cold freeze, like a small little snap come through. And they pretty much killed off a majority of my seedlings. So I pretty much had to start everything over from scratch again. So since I've done that, it's been probably almost two weeks. And so now I'm wanting to... Y'all don't mind my dishes over there <laughs> but i wanted to share with you guys like pretty much um how the garden is looking so far so let's go ahead and head outside so that way i can show you guys what the garden is actually looking like okay so sorry if it's super bright you guys but we're outside that means like it's super early like what time is it it's 7 32 so hopefully you guys can hear me before this traffic starts rolling by but um yeah so i pretty much had to start everything from seeds again and um everything looks good so i'm just pretty much gonna walk you guys through as to everything that i have so far in my veggie garden okay so starting out this is the spinach um i just pretty much just put two rows of spinach in here and i just dropped the seedlings in there and i just pretty much soaked it all the way down the first go round. And I also did give them some plant food. So probably on Wednesday or Thursday, I'll give them some more plant food to feed them again. But these are my spinach. And yeah, so they're just starting out pretty good. And then um, remember I had okra. So I started them again. And this time I did not use the biodegradable um, seed starters. I think they probably played a big part in it because I typically don't use those. I just simply just usually go in with some soil plant them soak them down and then i just let them do their own thing so i got some okra here um so i can do some fried and like okra and tomatoes and stuff like that and um get some to my family and stuff so i'm excited about that because these are going to get really huge like really 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 big so that's okra the next one we have here is the cucumbers of course i wanted some cucumbers so like for salads um you know so i can make my own pickles and then plus two i like to make detox water so i can just come out here pick them off my own and just make my own you know <laughs> detox water so yeah but y'all look at that they're just so healthy and strong and this one's actually fixing to get a whole another leaf on him in the center there so pretty excited about that look at him yep so the next one is corn and this corn i know is going to take a while because they're going to get super duper duper huge like pretty much like a corn stalk so i just wanted to just start some corn so i'm pretty much patient but um yeah so these are my corn i've only got three so far i haven't watered anything yet but i'm gonna do that shortly okay y'all remember my tomato plants that i had started along with the squash here these are squash plants you guys like these are started from seeds i started these from seeds <laughs> and then these tomato ones I started from seeds as well now when that cold snap came through I literally thought I had lost my tomato plants because they were really doing super duper bad and I mean like as you guys can see like some of them were still trying to hold on but um I think for the most part I got three so I have this one right here that I'm holding and this one right here and then I have this one right here so um i can already smell i like the way that tomato plants smell when they're actually growing they give like a fragrant scent to it i don't know how to explain it but it smells good it smells like a garden <laughs> but yeah but they're so healthy and um they're gonna start actually producing flowers on them soon so i need to actually stake these this week but i'm not gonna do it right now now my green beans right here I think what I just need to do is just put them in a big container, which I am going to do this week. Because um, I was battling with some gnats. That's why this container is in here. You guys can see if the leaves are wilting. Like, I really need to work on this. Uh, so that way they don't die. But I did start these from seeds as well. Um, I typically never have any problems with my garden. Especially when I started from seeds. But this year it was completely different. I don't know if it's because of where we're staying at right now. And just where the sun is. Or I don't know what. But... Since we've been living out here for the last three years, the gardening thing just really has been like a hassle. So, <laughs> I guess it's just the environment that's changed. So, yeah, but these are my green beans here. And they haven't produced, like, they produce flowers on them and everything. But I think because it's so many of them in this one container, 
they're not getting the proper like room to grow so I need to just separate them put them in different containers so that way they can continue to grow and flourish so they can produce my green beans um see here they have flowers on them they bloom and then they're gone um these marigolds I started from seeds and the reason why I started marigolds is because they act as a pest repellent to a lot of vegetables so that's exactly why I um, planted these so these are the orange marigolds and then these are the French dwarf which are taking a little bit longer to take off for whatever reason but these have been budding and they just keep budding um, but again I need to water them so that's why they're looking like that I didn't water anything yesterday um, and then of course I only had one kill that survived from the biodegradable um, container um, that I had started in the seed starter so thank God because he's holding on actually so I'm so happy about that because y'all love me some kale and kale they'll get super huge like see these over here like these are starting to mature as you can tell from the leaves compared to these over here because you guys know how kale leaves look if you guys eat a lot of kale that's how they start to look when they get bigger and bigger so yeah I need to water them today and then this is cilantro cilantro takes forever to freaking start like growing and i only have one that started sprouting apparently yesterday so i need to spray the top of this oh here's another one i need to spray the top of this just to put some moisture back because the bottom part i'm pretty sure is still wet because the soil is still damp if you can see but it needs a little bit more moisture to it so that way the seedlings can continue to you know sprout so i want me some cilantro and I want to be able to put in a huge container. Now, my thyme and parsley here, <laughs> they've actually sprouted. So this is thyme in this front across the section. This is parsley in the second part. And it's oregano down here in the third part. So it's just taking a little time, but I'm so happy. So I really want to produce some herbs, you guys. Because we use too many of them to keep buying from the store. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I use a lot of herbs in my cooking. So. Alright, so next up is my squash plants. These little babies, I started from seeds, you guys. And I'm so freaking proud because I've never grown squash before. <laughs> so this is a first for me. And I actually have three of them. But in each one, it has like two plants. And I think probably eventually what's going to happen is I'm going to still have to put, separate the two into separate containers. So I'll probably wind up having six plants, six squash plants total. But they have so many buds on them, so many flowers. Don't mind my foot, you guys. But they have so many flowers on them. And each day, they've just been blooming, like literally, every single day. So I need to actually research a little bit more on them and if you guys can see my makeshift steaks <laughs> yes this is a hanger i had to improvise because they were not going to survive if i didn't go ahead and just take the initiative and just stake them with something but um they're so strong and healthy like look at this one he is so strong and sturdy like i'm so proud because i've never tried to grow squash before but i love squash you guys um especially when i'm doing like veggie bowls so that was one reason why i decided to do squash and two i've just never I've just never grown squash before and I don't know if that one right there is going to bud into a flower if that's going to actually be a squash itself. So again, this is my first time growing squash, but I'm going to have to research a little bit more because now that they're blooming and budding, I need to see what the next step is, is to actually take proper care of them. This leaf, I don't know if this is because, I hope I'm not, I hope these aren't overwatered, so that's why I haven't really watered them either. Um, because plants can easily get overwatered, especially when they're in the container. So um, these they drain. That's why they're in these um, like little water reservoir containers. So that way, like you know, naturally when I water them, um, they can have like some water to keep drinking and feeding off of. So yeah, but one thing with container gardens, you guys, is that you actually have to put some form of fertilizer and give them some kind of plant food because they're not getting the exact same nutrients as they would if they were in the actual ground itself. So um, that's just something I just wanted to throw out there. But um, yeah, but I'm so excited that everything is starting to finally take off, finally starting to look nice. I mean, especially with my little seedlings over here finally doing what they're supposed to do and just grow so <laughs> but yeah and i'm excited about this kale um it's taking a little bit longer because again when we sit in our other apartment i grew kale and it took it no time to grow so i don't know again if it's just where we're located or what but uh, 
Yeah, so I'm just learning. Yeah, so this is my garden so far. And I forgot to mention to you guys, remember the avocado seed? Can you see his root down there? He finally has a root. I mean, literally, he has a root, you guys. Like, I'm so freaking happy. Like, look at that. So freaking happy. So I'm waiting. I think you're supposed to wait until it actually comes from the top before you actually plant it in a planter. Because I was going to actually go ahead and move it this week. But I think, again, I think I'm supposed to wait until the actual flower itself or the, you know, plant itself comes from out the top of the seed. So that's why I haven't put him in his own separate container as well. Now, yesterday, well, actually not even yesterday, um, <laughs> Saturday, <laughs> Saturday we went downtown. Yeah, so Saturday we went to the farmer's market downtown. It's a local market that they have downtown. And so I wanted to go for my birthday, and so we went. And so I picked up a couple of um, additional plants to add to the garden. Um, I got another tomato plant. So this is, let me see y'all right here. There we go. Okay, so uh, if y'all wondering what I'm propping you up on, it's on the other plant. So, yes, yeah, so I picked up this tomato plant, and this is a green grape tomato plant. And so I just decided to pick this up because I wanted to have an additional um, tomato plant into the ones that I already have. Now, these tomato plants that I um, started from seeds, I think those are just slicing tomatoes, if I'm not mistaken. So that's what I'm primarily going to be using those for. Um, and probably for, like, cooking and, like, spaghetti sauce and stuff like that. And then these... Um, I think they're pretty much like the same thing. I think they're a little bit smaller. Um, she didn't have a card out there, I don't think, for this one, but in particular. But I just wanted to get another, again, tomato plant. I'm going to go ahead and take this off here. Because he is working my nerves, and I don't like to see that. So, yeah, so happy about that. <laughs> so I've steadily been trying to grow my garden, but from seeds primarily because I just like to actually watch my plants take the time to grow. Um, and it's just rewarding too. And it's very therapeutic because again, it's something that you took the time out to grow. And then, moving all over here to the next plant. <laughs> okay. And then... I picked up a habanero pepper plant. So this is my first pepper plant for this year. Um, I grew peppers um, a couple of years ago and they was growing like crazy. Like they would not stop producing. Like every day I was going out there picking peppers off. Like they just would just produce every single day almost it seemed like. And so um, I decided I wanted to pick up a different pepper plant. So this is a habanada. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, it's a habanada pepper plant. And you can use this one for like, um, for um, like dishes, you can use it for like spicy dishes, for canning, pickling, um, sauces. It's very versatile, so that's why I definitely picked this one up because, again, I like to use my um, produce for multiple dishes. I don't like to just have one produce for like dinner and then have another one for like whatever reason. Like, no, I want to use everything whenever I want to use it. So that's why I pick certain things um, for my garden because I don't want to only be able to use them for certain dishes. Like, if I want to use it, I want to be able to just go grab it and use it. So I'm happy about that. And so, um, yeah, but these are going to be red peppers. So I'm excited about that. And again, this is a habanada plant. So, yeah, you guys. So um, I do have some bell pepper seeds that I got from my actual bell pepper that I had. And I let those dry. And I need to go ahead and plant those soon. But this is the actual update for my vegetable garden so far. Um, yeah, this is my veggie garden. <laughs> so I'm pretty proud of it, you guys. I cannot wait for everything to really start producing. And once I have more to share with you guys, I will come to you guys in a future updated video. So thank you so much for hanging out with me today, Queens. And I'll see you guys later.